Have you ever stood before a closed door, wondering why it won't open for you? Do you ever feel like you're missing out on opportunities that seem to come so easily to others? Welcome, my friends. In this video, we'll share a life-changing story about a woman named Acacia, who regret going through a door that was not opened by God, but eventually learning a great lesson in the process. And also, we'll pray a powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. So stick around to the end and open up your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. To begin, let's consider the nature of doors in a biblical context. Doors symbolize transition, opportunity, and sometimes, challenge. They represent the threshold between what was and what could be. In Revelation 3.8, God says, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. This verse not only assures us of God's sovereignty in guiding our paths, but also emphasizes His omnipotence in orchestrating opportunities that align with His divine plan. Now, let's delve into the heart of our discussion. Why should we trust God to open the right door at the right time? First, God's omniscience means He knows what's best for us. Isaiah 55, 8, 9 reminds us that God's thoughts and ways are higher than ours. This divine perspective is crucial to understanding why some doors open and others close. When we trust God's judgment over our limited understanding, we align ourselves with His broader plan for our lives, which is always for our ultimate good. Jeremiah 29, 11. But what about when times are tough? It's often in these moments of hardship and waiting that our faith is most profoundly tested. James 1, 2, 4 encourages believers to consider trials as joy because they produce steadfastness, leading to spiritual maturity. Being faithful in these tough times is crucial because it demonstrates our trust in God's timing and plan. It's a testament to our belief that He is working behind the scenes, preparing us for the door He will open. Moreover, our current situations, no matter how dire, should not cause us to doubt God's ability to come through for us. Consider the story of Daniel in the lion's den, Daniel 6. Daniel's unwavering faith, even in the face of death, exemplifies how trust in God transcends our circumstances. His deliverance is a powerful testament to God's faithfulness in rescuing those who remain steadfast in their trust. As we wait for God to open the right door, it's essential to understand the value of being still. Psalm 46.10 Be still and know that I am God is not a call to inaction, but an invitation to trustful waiting. This stillness is an active, anticipatory, and attentive posture. It involves listening for God's guidance, seeking His wisdom in prayer, and watching for the opportunities He provides. Being still doesn't mean we do nothing. It means we act according to God's leading rather than our impatience or impulsivity. Now let's consider some compelling examples from Scripture. Numerous biblical figures exemplify this principle. Take Esther, for instance. Her story is a remarkable narrative of being in the right place at the right time. However, it wasn't just coincidence. It was a divine setup. Esther's courage to approach the king could be seen as her walking through a door God had sovereignly opened for such a time as that. Esther 4.14 her story teaches us that sometimes God's timing requires us to act courageously, trusting that He has prepared the way. It's about believing that God's plans, timing, and methods are perfect, even when they don't align with our expectations. As we navigate through life's doors, let us do so with the assurance that our steps are ordered by a God who knows the end from the beginning, a God who promises to never leave us nor forsake us, and a God who lovingly guides us towards His best for our lives. Let this assurance be the bedrock of our faith as we wait, watch, and walk through the doors He opens for us. My friends, let's acknowledge a fundamental truth. Our God is a God of purpose and intentionality. Ephesians 2.10 tells us, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. This verse not only speaks to our identity in Christ, but also to the divine path laid out for us. It is on walking this path that we find our true calling and purpose. However, human nature, with its impatience and desire for control, 
often leads us to force open doors that God has not ordained for us. The danger in this is twofold. Not only do we stray from our God-given path, but we also risk missing the doors he is opening for us. Consider the story of King Saul in 1 Samuel 13. Faced with a formidable Philistine army and Samuel's delay, Saul took matters into his own hands and offered the burnt offering, a role reserved for the prophet. His impatience and disobedience cost him his kingdom. Saul's mistake wasn't just in performing the sacrifice, it was in failing to trust in God's timing and sovereignty. His story is a cautionary tale about the perils of impatience and the cost of stepping outside God's will. Let's delve deeper into the concept of patience, which is not merely waiting, but trusting. Patience is active, living faith in God's timing, plan, and goodness. My friends, let's acknowledge a fundamental truth. Our God is a God of purpose and intentionality. James 1.4 exhorts us, Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Patience is not a passive resignation, but a vibrant, hopeful waiting on God. It involves a deep-seated trust that the doors God opens are worth waiting for, and the doors He closes are for our protection and guidance. This brings us to the analogy of the farmer, as found in James 5, 78, which beautifully illustrates the virtue of patience. The farmer sows seeds and then waits for autumn and spring rains to nourish them. He doesn't rush through the process. He knows that each stage of growth is essential. Similarly, in our spiritual walk, we are called to trust in God's timing, knowing that He is nurturing and preparing us for what lies ahead. Just as the farmer anticipates a bountiful harvest, we too can look forward to the fruition of God's plans in our lives. However, our journey of faith and patience is often challenged by the apparent success of others. It's easy to look at their achievements and feel left behind or forgotten by God. But remember, 2 Corinthians 10.12 warns us, But when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. Our path is unique, designed by God specifically for us. The success of others should not be a yardstick for our progress or a cause for impatience. Rather, it should remind us that God's plans are diverse and personalized. Remember, when we talk about God opening doors, it's essential to acknowledge the waiting period that often precedes it. Waiting can be arduous, filled with uncertainty and impatience. We live in a world that values immediate results and clarity, making the act of waiting seem increasingly difficult. However, in these moments of delay, there is a profound purpose at work. Waiting is not a passive state. It is an active period of preparation and growth. God uses these times to shape us, to strengthen our faith, and to align our desires with His will. It's during these times that we often find a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relationship with God. Consider the story of a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. The caterpillar doesn't become a butterfly as soon as it encloses itself in a cocoon. It must wait, undergo a transformation that is not visible to the outside world. Similarly, when a door remains closed, God is working on us internally, preparing us for what lies ahead. He is equipping us with the wisdom, strength, and character needed to fully embrace the opportunities He will present. However, there's another aspect to consider. Sometimes we hinder our progress. At times, we cling to familiar ground, reluctant to let go of what we know, even when it no longer serves our growth. This reluctance can prevent us from moving forward. It's crucial to recognize that for new doors to open, some doors must close. The closing of a door is not always a denial or a setback. Often, it's a redirection to a better path. Just as a gardener prunes a vine to ensure its growth, God closes certain doors to guide us towards our true calling. A compelling example of this can be found in the life of a skilled professional who lost her job unexpectedly. This closure may seem devastating initially. However, it could be the push needed to pursue a long-held dream or passion, leading to a more fulfilling career path. In this, we see that what appears as a setback 
can be a setup for a great comeback. Moreover, our own actions and choices can either speed up or delay the opening of new doors. When we align our actions with God's will, demonstrating faith and obedience, we position ourselves to receive His best. On the contrary, when we resist change, hold on to past hurts, or refuse to grow, we inadvertently block the very blessings God intends for us. Closing doors to open new ones is a divine act of love and wisdom. It's about releasing what no longer contributes to our growth and embracing new possibilities. Consider the transition from youth to adulthood. The carefree days of childhood must give way to the responsibilities of adult life. This transition, while challenging, is necessary for development and maturity. Trusting the God who opens doors is a journey of faith, patience, and surrender. It's about trusting His timing, understanding that delays are often divine preparations, and recognizing that the closure of one path often signals the opening of another, more fruitful one. As we navigate through these doors both opened and closed, we grow in faith and understanding, continually being shaped into the individuals we are meant to be. This journey is not just about reaching a destination, but about becoming who we are meant to be in the process. Take this life-changing story as an example of why we need to wait on the Lord to open the door He wants us to go through. Once upon a time, in a small, bustling town, lived Akisha, a woman of profound faith and a heart full of dreams. Akisha, a single woman, devoted her life to God, radiating kindness and patience at every step. She cherished her two friends, Nikki and Kate, who were like sisters to her. Though surrounded by love, Akisha often felt a pang of loneliness, seeing her friends happily married while she remained alone. Her heart yearned for companionship, yet she steadfastly trusted that God would open the right door at the right time. Nikki, seeing her friend's silent longing, decided to take matters into her own hands. She introduced Acacia to Tony, a man she believed would be perfect for her. Acacia, swayed by the excitement of new love and the prospect of no longer feeling left out, hastily embraced this relationship. She walked through the door opened by her friend, adorned with hope and gratitude. And soon, Acacia and Tony were married. Initially, their marriage was filled with joy, and Acacia felt grateful to have someone by her side. She relished the shared moments, believing she had finally found what she had been praying for. However, as months passed, Tony began to reveal a side of him that Acacia had not seen before. The man she married turned out to be a monster, cloaked in the guise of a loving husband. Tony's true colors shone through in his words and actions as he became increasingly abusive, shattering the illusion of the happy life Acacia had envisioned. As Acacia realized the truth about Tony, she went through a roller coaster of emotions. She experienced shock, disbelief, and immense sadness, feeling deceived by the man she had married. The weight of disappointment and betrayal settled upon her shoulders, making it difficult for her to navigate through each day. Heartbroken and disillusioned, Acacia found herself in the midst of a storm she never anticipated. The door she had walked through, once full of promise, now led to a path of pain and sorrow. It was a harsh awakening for Acacia, who realized that not all open doors are meant to be walked through. In her haste and longing, she had mistaken a humanly opened door for a godly one. As she picked up the shattered pieces of her heart, Acacia filed for a divorce, a decision that was both painful and liberating. Through this ordeal, she learned a profound lesson. Just because a door is open, it does not mean it is the right one to walk through. She understood that sometimes, the devil too can open doors, luring us away from God's plan. With renewed faith and a deeper understanding of divine guidance, Acacia began to seek God's will more earnestly patiently waiting for him to open the right door. She spent her days in prayer and reflection, finding strength in her unwavering trust in God. And then, when she least expected it, God opened a new door. Acacia met a man whose heart resonated with her own. He was kind, understanding, and deeply rooted in faith. 
Their love blossomed under God's watchful eye, and it was evident that this was the door God had intended for her to walk through all along. They got married in a small, intimate ceremony, surrounded by friends and family who witnessed the joyous union. Together, they started a family, filling their home with love, laughter, and faith. Akesha's journey taught her the invaluable lesson that God's timing is perfect and His plans are always for our good. She realized that true happiness comes not from hastily walking through open doors, but from patiently waiting for the right ones to open. Akesha's story is a testament to the power of faith and the importance of seeking God's guidance in every aspect of our lives. It reminds us that while we may face trials and heartaches, God is always with us guiding us towards the doors he has lovingly prepared for us. Her story, with its trials and triumphs, serves as an inspiration to trust in the God who opens the right doors at the right time, leading us to our destined happy endings. And so, my friend, as we stand here today, let us remember that the doors God opens are not just passageways to new opportunities, but also portals to deeper understanding and greater faith. These are not mere physical openings, but spiritual gateways where our trust meets His promise. In a world that often urges us to knock down doors and force our way through, our God gently reminds us that the most significant advances in life are not made by the strength of our hands, but by the steadfastness of our faith. As we prepare to pray, I invite you to envision the doors that God is opening for you. Some may lead to paths of healing, others to bridges of reconciliation, and still others to arenas of unimagined growth. Trust in His timing, for it is impeccable. Trust in His wisdom, for it is unfathomable. Above all, trust in His love, for it is unending. Let us pray with our hearts wide open, ready to walk through the doors He lovingly opens for us, in His perfect time and according to His perfect plan. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, the great architect of the universe, the opener of every door that leads to the paths of righteousness and prosperity. We come before you today with hearts full of hope and eyes lifted towards the heavens. You, O oh Lord, hold the master key to the doors of opportunity, and in your divine wisdom, you open them according to your perfect timing and our readiness to enter. We stand here today, gathered in your presence, virtual yet connected by the unbreakable bond of faith seeking your boundless blessings and the touch of your guiding hand. We pray for a future illuminated by your grace, a future where each step is guided by your light and each decision is inspired by your wisdom. Lord, we ask for financial freedom, not for the love of wealth, but for the peace and ability to use our resources to glorify you and to help those in need. Guide us, Almighty Father, to stay steadfast on the path you have laid out for us, in a world filled with distractions and temptations, keep our feet firmly planted on the ground of your truth and our hearts attuned to your word. For every viewer tuning into this prayer, may they feel your presence in their lives, a reassuring embrace that they are never alone in their journey. We come before you, O Lord, with humble hearts, acknowledging our imperfections and seeking your forgiveness. In your infinite mercy, cleanse us from our transgressions and renew our spirits, that we may better reflect your love and grace in our lives. We lift up our families to you, Lord. In these challenging times, may your protective hand be upon them, your wisdom guide them, and your love sustain them. Strengthen the bonds of our families, that together we may weather the storms of life and emerge stronger in faith and love. Grant us wisdom, Heavenly Father, wisdom that transcends earthly knowledge, wisdom to discern your will in our lives, to make choices that honor you, and to lead others in the way of righteousness. With this wisdom, let us be beacons of light in a world that often walks in darkness. We pray for patience, Lord, the patience to wait for your timing, to trust in your plan even when the path ahead is unclear. In our waiting, let us find strength and a deeper understanding of your love and purpose for our lives. Help us to remember that you are the God of perfect timing, and every door you open leads to greater blessings. And finally, we pray for success, not as the world defines it, but as you, O oh God, deem it. 
Let our successes be a testament to your glory, a reflection of your love, and a result of walking in obedience to your word. May our achievements always lead us to humility and gratitude, recognizing that every good gift comes from you. Lord, we commit our plans, our dreams, and our lives to your mighty hands. You are the God who opens doors, and in you, we place our trust and hope. May your kingdom come, and your will be done in our lives, as it is in heaven. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Type Amen in the comment section if you are blessed by this video. Also, please help us spread this uplifting message by sharing it with the people you know. And remember to like and subscribe to support this channel. My friends, as you journey through life's complex maze, remember that the most significant doors are not those opened by human hands, but by the Almighty. These are the doors that lead to paths of true purpose, peace, and fulfillment. Trust in the Lord's timing, for it is perfect, even when it contradicts our own schedules and desires. God's timing is not just about the when, but also the where and the what. He opens the right door, at the right place, for the right reason. As we part ways today, I extend this prayer for you, my cherished YouTube family. May you find strength and patience, wisdom in waiting, and joy in the journey. May your hearts be attuned to God's gentle knocking, and your spirits be swift to discern the doors He lovingly opens for you. May you walk through these doors with faith, knowing that behind them lies God's best for your life. Lastly, if you are led to support our ministry by donation, we kindly invite you to do so by following the link provided in the description below. May God bless you all.